Hey, my lovely Scorpios, how are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I'm so happy and excited to have you all here today. Those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Ria and I do these readings every week. Now, Scorpio, this is a general reading for you, so I do please ask that you take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if any one of you are interested in a personal reading with me, my information is in the description box below for you. All right, Scorpios, I'm going to pull three cards and we're going to find out what message Spirit Guides have for all of you and what is going on in your present situation here. All right, my lovely Scorpios, let's see what we get. All right, look at this. We're getting the Eight of Wands. So something is about to happen really quickly here. Um, oh my gosh, wow. Okay, so I feel like love is coming into your lives. So already, this is a love reading for all of you, my beautiful Scorpios that are looking for love to come in. We've got the High Priestess coming in as well. So give me a moment here while I take a look at these three, three cards and see what my intuition lets you know. So very intense energy coming in through the cards here, my friends, especially with the Eight of Wands, okay? I feel there is an intense, passionate love relationship coming in for some of you Scorpios. Those of you that are single, that are looking for love, it's coming in quickly, okay? I feel here uh, with the High Priestess that... Um, this is going to come in in a way that you weren't expecting, okay? It's not going to come in where you're looking. I feel that right now you are being guided. You're seeing signs. If you're seeing synchronicities and numbers or you're seeing some, there's something there that is kind of, if you're hearing a voice in your heart or in your mind, in your mind, I feel something's guiding you at this time and you need to listen to that inner voice. Okay, they're letting me know that right away. Um, there's like... I feel like you need to trust your intuition here when you meet this person, okay? They're coming in really, really quickly here with the Eight of Wands, okay? And this is going to be super exciting for you here, Scorpio. I feel that the moment you meet this person, uh, there's going to be an immediate spark, okay? This is where the Eight of Wands come in, where things start progressing quickly, things start happening really fast. And you've got the Lover's card, so I do feel like you know, this could be also choices, but I do feel very strongly for you, Scorpio. This is more so about love, okay? I feel like you're going to have to make a choice in this love. I feel that to trust your intuition, especially when you meet this person or if you already met this person and you're kind of questioning, you're not fully sure about how they're feeling about you, right? To trust your intuition. Your intuition will not lead you the wrong way, okay? I feel that some of you are... Some of you already met this person, okay? And some of you are about to meet this person. And I feel for those of you that are already or have already met, things are moving really quickly for you. And you're kind of like, whoa, this is like really fast. Like, what is going on? Is this is this for real? Is this actually what this is meant to be? Yes, it is, okay? Things are going to move quickly here with this relationship. I feel this is for some of you, your soulmate. Some of you are feeling that this this person feels right there's something about them maybe it's their energy okay so you are already feeling that um confirmation through through your spirit guide you're feeling it in your gut okay and this person is someone that i'm getting goosebumps <laughs> So I feel for some of you, you're getting goosebumps right now listening to this because maybe it's resonating for you. You've already met this person. Um, this person is going to make you feel like you're on top of the earth. I feel the way they look at your eyes, okay? It's the way they look at you um, that really gets you and that um, you, you feel like you are seeing, it's almost like you're seeing their soul through their eyes okay there's some sort of a connection and I feel like this is someone from your past life and you're reuniting with them and I feel this person is letting you know the same thing I feel if they haven't told you this they're going to be feeling it okay so I feel there's some sort of a deep connection here with this person coming in um like this long lost love almost that's what I'm feeling like some of you feel like you've met this person before okay and this is a beautiful brand new opportunity to grow in here okay so this is beautiful and we're getting the hanged man and we're getting 
temperance. Okay, so for some of you, this is somebody that is different than what you had expected or what you were looking for. It's not that they're not who you wanted. They're just the way they look at life, the way they view life, what their values, their morals. It's totally different than what you're used to. Okay, so I'm already feeling that there's this different part about them. And this is what's so attractive, right? This person is going to um, open you up to brand new experiences, things you've never done before. Okay, so they're going to expose you to all of these beautiful things. And you're going to look at life and say, wow, I didn't know that there was all of all of this here. So this is reminding me of my husband when I first met him, we did different things that I'm not used to. Like, I'm, you know, Punjabi Indian. So I've grown up watching Bollywood movies. I absolutely love Bollywood movies and listening to Indian music and rap and, you know, um, soul music, that sort of thing. And he opened me up to synthwave music. I didn't even know what synthwave music was. And I make synthwave music now. And we both have an album together that we've got um, on Bandcamp. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I would have never ever thought that I would be making music. So I feel for some of you, this person is going to, going to open you up to brand new things that you've never experienced in your life. There's going to be balance in your life here as well. I feel like this person is stable. They're secure where they're at. And, you know, which, this person is totally not who you expected, okay? This is a totally different type of person and they are really going to show you how to bring different areas of your life into balance. And I feel maybe... Um, this person is from a different country, okay? They're from a different ethnicity than yourself. And this is where that uh, different perspective is coming in here, okay? This is what I'm feeling like. And this is a brand new opportunity where it is going to, it has that potential to grow and blossom into something absolutely beautiful. So this is a brand new beginning for you, okay? And especially with all the brand new things that are happening. And again, this is something that is just happening super fast here for some of you, more than what you're used to, right? You're used to slow movement in relationships and people kind of flaking out or like ghosting you or not being totally interested and in playing mind games and stuff. And this person is very, uh, he's, this person's got a totally different perspective, okay? They're just, they're very solid, they're stable, and they're there, and they're wanting something serious, they're wanting something real, right? And they're letting you know through their actions that they're 100% interested in you. Uh, they might have not said it, and for those of you waiting for this to come in, it's coming in here really quickly here, okay? I feel that you're going to meet them in a different spot. Um, I don't think this is going to be online. I don't think this is on a dating app. Okay. I don't feel that at all. I feel like this is someone you're going to get, you're going to bump into. This is someone you're going to be introduced to. There's maybe you're going to meet them through work or something like that, but I don't see this person coming through at online anywhere. Okay. Maybe like on a dating app, this could they might come in through a social media thing, but I highly doubt that. So be aware. I feel like this is somebody that maybe you're going to go to an event. Okay, this is a, this person is going to, going to come from a place that you're not normally going to. Maybe a friend's going to invite you somewhere. Maybe you're going to eat somewhere. And you're going to, you know, um, catch their eye or they're going to catch your eye and they're just going to be a spark there, right? Um, I feel there is going to be an age difference of... You know, not a big age difference, but there's definitely going to be an age difference uh, with this person. I'm going to pull a couple more cards and see what else we're getting. Queen of Swords. We're getting Six of Swords. And we are getting the Hermit card. So some of you might be in that place where you're kind of like not you're you're in a paused moment right now you're not really looking and you're just kind of in your place get taking a break from life and you're maybe afraid to try different things or get into a new relationship right when maybe you do try to get out and experience dating you're kind of uh hesitant or maybe you're afraid of what's out there like look at the snake this hermit is coming out and there's a snake outside so i feel here very strongly um that some of you might be 
afraid to try dating because you've been hurt in the past and you've been there, done that, and you've just had bad experiences. So spirit guides really want you to pause and quiet that mind, still that heart and just feel and be open to new things. Allow yourself to work on the things that may uh, that are hindering you from exploring and wanting to go out there and meet new people okay so they really want you to reflect on yourself and see what it is that is kind of stopping you right now especially those of you that want love but are scared to look for it or don't want to be disappointed or have these blockages that might be stopping you from actually trying right but you're waiting for it to come in but you're not doing anything to look for it so I feel that you need to turn that light on and go outside and look my friends this is what I'm feeling. I feel for some of you, you are going to realize that things aren't as bad as they once were. That you know what? That's is it's not too bad. I feel like you need to make better choices as far as um, when you're go in the dating scene and and picking people out and not um, getting into the space where you give too much of your energy to one person at once. It's more so like coming into this place where you feel good moving forward okay this is what I'm feeling very strongly here with this and you know I feel for you some of you um I feel traveling some of you guys some of you might meet this person as you're traveling as you're taking a break from life you're going away somewhere right you are either going to a different city maybe you're going to I don't know. I feel like you are going somewhere. You're traveling. You're you're you might bump into this person while you're out and about. Um, and look at this. We've got the Queen of Swords coming in with all of these cards here. I'm going to take a look with all of this. I feel that you're going to come to a place where you're going to be feeling finally. That's what I'm feeling like finally. You can come to a place where you're content in your mind, right? Like it's going to come to this place where there's not going to be anxiety around this person because this person is so um, stable. I feel like this person is solid, like there's no games, mind games. So you're going to be in this place where you feel really good around this person and you're not playing these guessing games. I feel this person is going to share with you how they feel and it may feel intense at first right because you're not used to someone being absolutely upfront and telling you how they actually feel and where they're wanting this relationship to go but I do feel this person is going to be very blunt about how they feel for you where they see this relationship going or where they want this relationship to go with you okay they're going to be very upfront they're going to put all their cards on the table and you're going to be taken aback you're going to be like what is this person actually for real? Is this person telling me like what I want to hear? Like I've been wanting this person for so long. Where have they been all my life? So that's what I'm feeling like. So I do feel for you. Um, you're going to be in this place where you are feeling powerful. Okay. This person is going to make you feel good. Not that you need anyone to make you feel good. Right. But I feel you're going to come into this place where you, it's, it's almost like, you know, you come to this place where you actually believe that things are possible, that you have control over your life and just this overall feeling of goodness that you're blessed. And look at all these beautiful doves around you, right? So I do feel you're going to come into this place where you feel so good. This person is just going to make you feel so good. They're going to make you feel loved, appreciated, and know that you deserve love here, my beautiful Scorpio friends. And it is coming in in a major way here. So be open to that. Allow yourself to love someone, okay? Don't be afraid. Don't have fears around it explore that world out there and see what uh, opportunities the universe brings in for you so that is my message for you my beautiful scorpio friends i hope it resonates if you if it does make sure you comment hit that like button and if you are brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content uh please consider subscribing other than that i wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching